हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर डूइंग द थीम फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज एंड दियर मेजरमेंट इन दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड लेंथ मास एंड टाइम टुडे इज द टर्न फॉर टेम्परेचर एंड इट्स मेजरमेंट इन दिस चैप्टर विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज टेम्परेचर व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट स्केल्स दैट वी यूज फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड हिट द बेल बटन so what is temperature when you dip your finger inside a hot water you feel hot when you touch the ice you feel cold so in our daily life we use hot cold warm like words on daily basis so what does it mean so temperature is the measure of degree of hotness or coldness of a body koi body jo hai wo kitni garam hai ya kitni thandi hai uske bare mein hame batata hai temperature so temperature is basically the thing which we use to measure the degree of hotness and coldness of the body now si unit of temperature is kelvin k e l v i n which is de- depicted by capital k this was the name of the scientist and the device that we use for the measurement of temperature is thermometer so thermometer is a device which we use for the measurement of temperature now the different things related to this thermometer if you see the diagram there are few things which you can see here like there is a red portion here this is this portion where some li- some kind of liquid is being filled which is called as bulb then the liquid which is filled in the shiny liquid which is filled inside the bulb is called mercury then there is a very fine tube in which mercury rises when that when there is a measurement of temperature that is called as capillary tube and because this is very fine tube which can easily break down so in order to protect the whole system whole stuff we use a thick glass tube which is called as stem fine so there we have few things we have bulb inside bulb we have mercury then we have a very fine tube of glass which is capillary tube and in order to protect that we use the stem fine so these are the few things one more thing there are some readings over the glass tube like minus 10 10 100 uh, then you have 30 50 70 these markings over it are called as gradations or degrees as you can see it, it is having minus 10 to 110 degree c as its gradations fine so this is the these are the basic things which every thermometer will be having now thermometric scales we have two different kind of scales like celsius scale and kelvin scale celsius scale we generally use in our daily life it has two measurements 0 degree c and 100 degree c 0 degree c is the temperature at which the ice starts melting 100 degree c is the temperature at which water starts converting into steam so these are the two basic temperature which are being used in the celsius scales these all these uh, from 0 to 100 degree c they are being divided into 100 equal parts or markings which are called as gradations now in standard international scale or kelvin scales because we have the temperatures like minus 1 degree c minus 2 degree c minus 10 degree c which cannot be u- measured using celsius scale fine so in order to go for other calculations we use the kelvin scale in which which is given by lord kelvin this is the name of the scientist who has given this scale now in this minus 273 degree c is taken as the lowest temperature and minus 273 degree c is called as absolute zero in this so minus 273 degree c is called as absolute zero fine minus 273 degree is equal to absolute zero and if you 
go for this we write it like minus 273 degrees C is equal to 0 Kelvin. So, absolute 0 is 0 Kelvin. Similarly, it will be 0 degree C, you add 273 to it, you will get 0. So, it will be 0 degree C is equal to 273 Kelvin and 100 degree C will be add 100 to it 373 Kelvin. Now, if you compare these two scales, this is your Celsius thermometer and this is your Kelvin one. The lowest temperature in this will be 0 degree C, highest is 100 degree C. These all these two extreme points are being divided into 100 equal parts. Here 0 degree C is equal to 273 Kelvin and 100 degree C is 373 Kelvin and all are divided into equal parts. If you want to convert Kelvin into degree C, you will have to add 273. For example, if you have 20 degree C, you want to, you want to convert it in Kelvin, you will have to add 273 into it. So, it is 20 plus 273 which is 293 Kelvin. Fine. So, this is how you are going to do this. Now, next is clinical thermometer. You know that laboratory thermometers are totally different from the clinical thermometers. Clinical thermometers are the thermometer is a device which is used for measuring the temperature of human body. Human body ka temperature ko measure karne ke liye we use clinical thermometer. You might have seen this at your home also. Now, in this pandemic time everyone is having few things at their home like they have the thermometer, then they have the oximeter which is used to measure the oxygen level of the body. For, so, let us explain what is what are the different things that you see in a clinical thermometer. Now, it has a bulb which is carrying mercury into it, then we have a kink, kink is this triangular part which is connecting it to the capillary tube, then it has a thin fine glass tube inside it which is carrying the mercury which is called as capillary tube. Then it has a stem, triangular stem. We close the capillary tube from the other end after removing the air and we enclose it inside the triangular stem so that it will be protected from breaking off. Now, why we use kink into this? You know that when we keep this bulb, this part of the thermometer inside our mouth, inside the cavity, arm cavity or in the mouth for one minute, what happens? The mercury inside the bulb expands and it goes, flows in the upward direction into the capillary tube. Now, when you take out the thermometer from your mouth and it takes few seconds to you to see the reading. Fine. So, now if this kink is not there, it will the expanded mercury will come back to the bulb immediately. So, it it prohibits the uh, mercury to come back to flow back. It does not allow it this kink does not allow the mercury which has risen up to come back to the bulb immediately. Fine. So, that you can take the reading easily. Now, the readings on the clinical thermometers the temperature range over this is 35 degree C to 42 degree C. This is the range. If the temperature of the body falls below 35 degree C or it goes above 42 degree C, in both the cases death occurs. So, there is no need of measuring a temperature lower than this or above than this. Both are fatal. So, the minimum temperature that can be measured with this is 35 degree C and the maximum is 42 degree C. As you know, 37 degree C is the temperature of healthy body. So, if it is below 37 degree C, we will feel weak. If it is above 37 degree C, we will be having the fever. So, both the conditions are there. More thing, we should not put our clinical thermometer inside the boiling water or in, in the sun, otherwise it will break down. So, in order to protect it, we should wash it with the cool water. Next in this is estimation. Estimation is approximation in which we estimation is the quick judgment about the measurement of some particular quantity. For example, in a cricket match, if somebody wants to catch the ball, 
he will have he'll have to estimate where the ball will fall on the ground he'll have to reach there and take the position he is not going to use any particular instrument in that situation to uh, measure the exact location of the ball similarly if somebody is uh, in the football ground and he want to pass the ball to the Uh, nearest players in there also he is going to judge by himself the distance between him and the nearest player he is not going to have a inch tape or a measuring tape to measure kaun sa khiladi mere paas hai usko main pass dunga so it's when you have when we go for estimation of the physical quantity when we don't have time hamare paas time nahi hai itna ke hum exact instrument ko use kar sake fine and when even no instruments are there fine koi hamare paas measuring tape nahi hai koi hamare paas weighing machine nahi hai kuch hamare paas hai nahi usko measure karne ke liye there also we go for the estimation so time ki kami hai hamare paas ya actual devices ki kami hai using which we can measure the uh, physical quantities we go for the estimation fine and there are some condition there are many condition where we cannot go rely on the estimation because they they give us the rough idea about the physical quantity not the exact measurements so like if a tailor want to stitch the blouse or the clothes of the people there they need the exact measurements not the rough estimation right so if a vendor a vegetable seller want to sell the vegetables there also he needs the exact measurements fine